Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to be doing a video completely different from usual. As you've seen in the thumbnail, I'm going to be making my wife an anniversary present. This is also great for Valentine's Day, which is coming up as well. So what I'm going to be doing is transferring this scrap cardboard heart that I drew out onto this styrofoam board I have here. Now, also, this is the size of the picture that I'm going to be uh, putting inside of this heart. So again, I have a piece of styrofoam here, a piece of scrap cardboard that I drew a heart out of. I'm going to trace onto this styrofoam, and again, this is the picture size. It's a 4 by 6 that I'm going to be putting inside here. As you've seen in the thumbnail, I'm going to go ahead and be doing a coat over it, and then painting it, and making it to work, and hang up on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and trace it on there and I'll be right back. Alright now as you see I have it traced on this styrofoam. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Alright now as you see I got it cut out and yes before you ask in the comments it was very messy so whenever you go to cut it try not to saw at it. If you do do this cut straight down like this going around that way it doesn't really flake anything off. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and find the very center point. That way I can drill a hole and I can use that for later on when I go to hang it on the wall. Right now as you see I have a line right down the center of this. So now what I'm going to do is take this 4x6 measurement, fold it in half. That way I have that middle crease. And I'm going to put that middle crease right on top of here. And then once I have that measured out, then I'm going to go ahead and take the pin and trace around this. All right, now as you see, I have this 4x6 traced out on here. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and find where I'm going to drill the hole at. It'll be right about in this area. That way, for later on, I could have the wire going through the back where I can hang this up on the wall. So I'm going to drill that hole, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this 4x6 measurement, and I'm going to cut into this styrofoam about an eighth of an inch. That way, I can take the 4x6 of the picture of my wife and myself and place it inside of here. Alright, something real quick. Once I went ahead and went through the styrofoam with this wire, on the other side, I went ahead and marked this spot where it came through at. That way, because later on it might be hard to find. Alright, now as you see, I have it shaved down where the picture is going to be. Don't worry about how it looks right in here because it's going to be covered up with the picture. Now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take some caulking and I'm going to go around the edges and anywhere that I have like little nicks, like for example, right here, I cut in there a little bit too far. So I'm going to take some caulking and I'm going to go around and make all these edges and everything nice and smooth. Well, right now, as all of this dries around the edges and everywhere else on here, I took a piece of wire, as you see here, and just simply made a little hook piece here for a nail to go through. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire, and I'm going to go in through the back, and then I'm going to go ahead and, as it comes through here, I'm going to bend it outwards. Again, all this is going to be covered up, so it'll be all right. Alright, now as you see on the back here, I bent it upwards and angled it out just a little bit. That way it's got enough room for the nail to catch hold of it. And then on this side here, I went ahead and bent it over. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take this acrylic black paint and paint the entire thing. Now I'm going to use a sponge as well. Now something to take note. Acrylic paint is the only paint to use on styrofoam. Any other paint will melt away the styrofoam. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint this up. 
white and as you see I got it all painted across the top along the sides all around and also I got the edges inside of here where the picture is going to be just in case if there's any white peeking through along the edges where the picture is going to go so I'm just going to let this sit for a couple hours and let it dry. Alright everyone, now I went ahead and put a second coat on here. It's nice and dry, the sides are dry, the top is dry. I'm going to go ahead and paint the back side of this later on. Now, I went ahead and got me some clear glue. You can't use epoxy resin on styrofoam. It'll dissolve it and melt it away. So, this here is pretty much just like Elmer's glue. Um, and also, here is my picture. Some of you is wondering what bloody hatchet looks like. Well... That's me right there, guys. Me and my wife. Now, that will go right in here. Fits perfectly in there. I'm going to take this glue. I'm going to go on the back side of here. I'm going to put the glue in here. Put this in here. And I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Now, my picture is nice and dry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take this glue and I'm going to pretty much go on top of the picture. I'm going to fill in this whole area of the picture with this glue. Alright guys, so I had to take a toothpick and go in the glue and get all the bubbles out. Especially the picture itself, I don't want no bubbles. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this glue and cover the entire top of this and let the glue go over the sides. I want the entire thing full and covered with this glue here. Now, it's probably going to have to dry overnight, so whenever it dries, I'll get back with you guys. Well, Alright, there it is. Now, it's the next morning. It's not 100% dry. It's probably about 90% dry. It's dry enough to hang up on the wall, though. I hope that you all enjoy this video. Alright everyone, there it is up on the wall. I hope that you all enjoy this video. I know it's something completely different from what I usually do. But hey, you get to see what I look like at least, right? So please drop a like and let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.